It's recommended to calibrate the printer whenever you're changing your media type. For most media types, auto calibration is adequate. Please look in the comments section for a link to the auto calibration video. In order to place the image in the correct position on the media, you must first identify the features in the media you'd like the printer to detect. Second, you must make sure the sensors in your printer are set up to detect those features. Most media contains features that identify the start position. First, select your media sensing feature in the menu. If your media has a gap, also referred to as a web, or has holes or notches, select Gap Notch in the menu. If your media has a black mark on the underside of the media, select Mark in the menu. If your media is a continuous roll with no start position features, select Continuous in the menu. Please note that the label length on continuous media is controlled by the file you're printing. Second, set the sensor type in the menu. For black mark media, set the sensor type to reflective. For all other types of media, set the sensor to transmissive. Now, load the media and ribbon. Make sure the media and ribbon are fully inserted. If you have any media handling operations, such as a peel, line or take up, cutter, or rewind, please calibrate in those print modes. If you're using media with a gap, also referred to as a web, or hole, or notch, you'll want to make sure your sensor is in the optimal position to identify that feature. Move the sensor to a location where the light passes through the notch or hole. Try to avoid locating the sensor under the hole or notch radius. If your media is not a simple rectangle, such as a circular shape, locate the sensor over the leading part of the label. If you're using media with print on the underside, try to locate the sensor away from that print so the sensor does not get a false reading. After you have the sensor properly located, select Media Ribbon Calibration in the menu. Press the right select button under the display to start. Be careful not to press the button more than once. If your media has a gap, also referred to as a web, remove labels and rewind the roll to ensure only liner is under the media sensors. If your media has holes or notches, or is a continuous roll with no start position features, remove the media entirely. If your media has a black mark on the underside of the media, please ensure the black mark is not under the mark sensor. If you're using ribbon, the ribbon must be removed from the ribbon sensor location on the inboard side of the printer. Close the printhead. When you've completed these steps, press the pause button to continue. When the printer has learned the correct settings, the display will show a reload all message. When reloading the media and ribbon, make sure the media and ribbon are fully inserted. Be sure that the ribbon is located under the ribbon sensor. If your media has a gap, hole, or notch, be sure that the media, and not the gap or hole or notch, is under the media sensor. If your media has a black mark, the black mark position does not matter. Be sure that the media is installed correctly. When you have reloaded the supplies, close the printhead and press the pause button to continue. The printer is now calibrating. Media will begin exiting the printer. The amount of media can be reduced by lowering the maximum label length setting in the menu. However, it is important that the maximum label length setting is larger than the label length you're printing. Otherwise, the printer may not correctly calibrate. Please note that the number in the menu is in inches. When calibration is complete, the label should stop in the correct location. You can check that your calibration was successful by pressing the feed button and ensuring media feeds to the correct location. If you are using special or custom media and having issues calibrating, make sure it meets the ZT400 media specification. If this video is helpful and you'd like to see more videos, please like this video.